Rob, that suspect crash happened right outside this storage unit late this afternoon, and that is where the entire thing began. Just in the last half hour, police officers finally rolled out of this area from multiple different police agencies. They had this part of St. Charles Road shut down for hours. Tonight, we know at least one suspect is in custody, and police are still searching for at least one more. It looked like Hollywood style fugitive chaos. This was Wednesday afternoon. Guns drawn, canines on the hunt, metro trains at a halt in the western suburbs. There was like 15 cars speeding westbound on St. Charles. Sometime around 4 p.m., squad cars from more than half a dozen departments sped down St. Charles Road in pursuit of what investigators said was a car full of alleged armed robbery suspects. They'd been on its tail after investigators say at least two men committed a robbery in Benson. Late this afternoon, police say the car crashed and the alleged suspects bailed out. As officers from all over swarmed a Lombard neighborhood, officers captured one suspect and roped off a sprawling search perimeter searching for more. People in close proximity hunkered down. Scared, didn't know where the guy was. I didn't want to come out and put myself in danger. Nearby Metro trains stopped on the track so investigators and search dogs could check for suspects. Police searched through residents' garages and around backyard pools. They went over and checked the backyard area. They came in through the building, just uh, making sure nobody wasn't uh, supposed to be in there. And the play area of nearby Four Paws Doggy Daycare. Surveillance video shows police on alert, guns briefly drawn, searching for a potentially armed and dangerous suspect who'd managed to evade a threat throng of police officers for hours. That suspect was taken into custody just before 6 o'clock tonight. Late tonight, the FBI has also told us that their investigators are involved in an investigation out here in this vicinity, but they've declined to offer any more details. We're hoping to find out more tomorrow morning. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.